Hey everybody, today I'm gonna be showing you how to jailbreak the iPod Touch second on um, first generation on firmware 2.2.1. First what you have to do is click restore. And I'm gonna hit them back up. But I already stored mine to the latest firmware, which is 2.2.1, and I hope you like the HD quality of this video. Okay, after you have everything, you have to um First, you have to download the QuickPawn 2.2.5 DMG or EXE if you're on Windows. And first of all, if you're on a Mac and you have um, version 10.5.6, you're going to have to enable DFU mode. So you can find a tutorial on YouTube on how to do that. So first, we're going to open it up. And here's the application. We're going to open that up. Make sure you have your iPod Touch ready. And it says copyright iPhone Dev Team, blah blah blah. Okay. Now my iPod Touch is connected. And I'll automatically go into it. And here's the firmware it has automatically found. And um it's uh would you either re replace the uh, original boot and restore logos that are on the iPod Touch? Um I will. And it's gonna um build the I I IPSW. And it's going to ask you for your password. And it's going to say turn off your device. I'm going to shut it off right now. Press and hold the only power buttons. Release the power button. And it's going to say stuff like that. And it's going to send the stuff that you need. After that, you're just about done. And I believe you can let go. Well, if I were you, I'd keep on holding down the home button just in case. And I'm going to go switch over to uh, my webcam to show you um, the process and stuff. So I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Here's my iPod Touch. As you can see, it's running and it's a uh, first hand iPod Touch. You say no, and um, it says flashing more. It's part of the process. Or if you look over on your uh, on Mac, hold on one second. Let's see. Let's see on um, it says I have success. Quick point is modifying your device. The process will allow custom firmware and other cool tweaks to be performed in the future. This process takes a while, and the iPod Touch will reboot itself. Don't do anything until the iPod Touch is finished rebooting. A little bit has happened and it says I had success. Oh. Okay guys, the process is now done. Looks like to unlock. And as you can see, I have Installer and Cydia. And um, let me just turn my brightness down a little. Come on. Good. Let me show you again. Installer and Cydia. And General About. You can see right there, firmware 2.2.1. And you can see right here. 2.2.15H11, which is the newest firmware for the iPod Touch. Thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe and soon for lucky. This will be job broken. This is the iPod Touch second generation. If we're lucky enough, this will be job broken. So stay tuned. And I will make a video for the iPod Touch second generation. So you guys should subscribe. As soon as it comes out, I'll have a video up. So be sure to subscribe to that.
Thank you everybody for watching and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.